Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. Now you can get a free sneak peek into Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery membership program. The details are in the description box below this video. In this video, you will learn how to create a line chart in PowerPoint. The beautiful line chart you will learn to create today looks like this. A line chart is usually used to show trend over time. As you can see here, this chart shows how the sales performance has been over the year and you can see that the various months and the sales performance are shown here. The reason why line chart works so beautifully to show trend over time is you have these various data points and it connects those various data points visually so your eye can follow the trend. And that is the reason why it is always advisable to show a trend using line charts. To create a line chart, all we need to do is go to a new slide. Let me go to insert and here in illustrations group you have chart. The chart type we would like to use is line chart and here you can see that there are a whole bunch of options for line charts. The one that I prefer to use is this one called as line with markers. It is a simple stacked line chart with markers. I am going to say OK and that inserts the line chart onto my slide. Now you can see that there is an accompanying worksheet that gets opened simultaneously and we can replace this sample data with our own data. In this case, I am going to use the sales performance for just one year. So I need one series and I don't need all these additional series which are shown by different lines here. I am going to click and select all these two lines here and I am going to right click and say delete and that deletes those other unnecessary series here. As you can see here to select an entire column all you need to do is to place your cursor on the header and then click and then you will see that the entire column gets selected. So that is the way that we uh, select the column and delete. Now I am going to replace this series 1 as sales and then we are going to replace the categories with months. I am going to make some space because I want more than just 4 uh, values here. I want to add more. So I am going to click and drag this down. So that is another thing that you may want to know and that is you can always expand this worksheet to suit your requirement. The next thing is I am going to enter my value here. So I have written Jan and as you can see there is this cross that comes when I move my cursor to the bottom right corner and that is my shortcut to add more months without having to type them all. So I'm going to click and drag across and you can see that I can drag beyond the highlighted portion. And as I move my cursor down, you can see that each additional month is getting added. The last month is December and I can release my mouse click and immediately all the months are populated. Now this one says Excel found a problem with one or more formula references in this worksheet and I have not really added any formula so I'm just going to say OK. You, it is important for you to read all this stuff before you uh, take action. In this case I'm, going, I'm just going to say OK and then I'm going to add my numbers here and I'm going to enter random numbers. So let us pretend that these are the performance values for the various months here. And as I move my worksheet, you can see that there is a beautiful line chart that is already created. And I'm going to just close this. When I go here, you can see that I have a beautiful line chart ready. I can always click and drag this uh, white circle here to resize my chart. Now, there are so many things you can do to make this chart better. One of the things is you can click on the line and you can go to the home tab in PowerPoint ribbon, go to shape outline and you can change the color of uh, the line. I prefer to use black color because it's a very uh, neat and visible color. And if I want, I can always go here and increase the weight of the line just as you would do with any line. And I prefer to have the line slightly thicker, so around four and a half points. And another one that I do is if there is only one data series, there is no point in having these legends. And therefore, I'm going to click here and delete. Another thing that I do is I always prefer not to have any chart title because my chart title is going to be my slide title. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to delete it. 
Now this looks much cleaner. The one last thing that I need to do is to make sure that these fonts are a lot more readable. So I'm going to click on the bounding box here, the line here, and then I'm going to increase the font size by going to the font group and I'm going to increase. So this is another useful tip. By selecting the bounding box and increasing the font size, you would be able to increase the font size of all the elements inside the chart. Now this looks very professional. You can see that the line is very visible and it has got markers in case the individual data points are important and you have the font very readable. And now when I go to slideshow mode, you can see that the chart looks as good as the ones that you see in finance magazines. I hope you liked this simple tutorial on how to create line chart in PowerPoint. Hey, are you looking for an easy to follow comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training online? Do you want to learn how to create beautiful picture slides like this, chart slides like this, infographics like this, 3D graphics like this, or in general beautiful slides like this, this, or this? Then please join our Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Membership Program. It is arguably the most comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training online. You get instant access to more than 650 step-by-step -step video tutorials, more than 225 text-based lessons, and more than 400 downloadable files the moment you join Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Membership Program. You can sign up for a free sneak peek into the program right away. Please click here to watch a few of the premium videos from the program for free right now. I'll see you inside the program.